Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna be showing you how I make my thumbnails. So the actual process is pretty easy, but getting the plugins and everything installed, that these, are, these aren't the very easiest things, okay? So the things you actually need for this is Pay.net and Roblox Studio, some plugins for Roblox Studio, and some plugin for Paint.net. I'm gonna have them linked down in the description below, and I'll show you guys how to, like, install them. Alright, so I've logged into a new account, actually, and, uh, I just actually wanna say before we start, uh, we're gonna have to get the plugins installed before we get into, uh, Roblox Studio, because they're gonna get installed, they're, they're, you don't have to restart Roblox Studio if you install these before it. So, the things you're gonna need is Low Carrier Light and Moon Animator 2. So, I know Moon Animator 2 sounds a little bit, um, hard to deal with, but trust me, man, it, it's it's gonna help man so first off let's install locator light it's gonna open up roblox studio just to get them installed so yeah there we go locator is successfully installed now moon animator it's gonna open up roblox studio and there we go all right so the first thing you want to do uh is basically if you open up roblox studio then you want to click on classic paste plate that's actually what i'd recommend uh and it's probably the easiest way of doing it as well so what you want to do now is you want to uh go ahead to uh view and uh open up a Exploring properties. If you don't have these open, it's gonna look like this or just weirder. Maybe you don't even have the toolbox. But yeah, uh, have the toolbox properties and explorer open because these things are gonna be needed for this. All right, so you're basically gonna be seeing this uh, base plate thingy here. The first thing you wanna do is open up uh, workspace, go to base plate, and change the material to smooth plastic. Then change the brick color or uh, just the color to lime green, which is over here. It's gonna look a little bit too light, but don't worry, it's gonna blend it. Then what you want to do is search up green screen and uh, basically the first one just use that uh, Whichever one looks like this or just you know, just a screen just a green screen So yeah, now that you got this done. I uh, I recommend you to go to uh, Lighting go to uh, technology and choose future. I really recommend this because it looks way better and uh, Yeah, it makes the ketters have more quality to them now What you want to do is just click to publish the roblox then um, you know, just give it a name a random name I'll just do this basically uh, then click on create and there you go and i just created the game now close it and uh now what you want to do is you want to go to plugins all right you see there's your uh load karen and moon Annabelle. hopefully they're there if they're not then uh i don't know so what you want to do now is you want to look up someone's character for example i'll use my character uh now what you want to do is you want to spawn it in r15 unless you want to spawn it in r6 you could also do that but i'd recommend r15 so now that you spawn it in you can basically close this and now you have this now basically if you want to make your thumbnails then there's going to be this tag and that's going to be in the way to be honest what i recommend doing is going on to the actual uh, select me i mean the workspace menu clicking on uh this thing here and then basically if you see if you go to properties you're going to see down here it says t1 monic just backspace that out and there you go the name is gone now uh don't anchor this before we even do anything just anchor it later when you're done but now what you want to do is you want to click on moon animator it's going to open up the moon animator now what you didn't want to do is go to file new animation just put a random name in there you go then click on the plus click on the character and click on c frame and there you go now you have it now this looks pretty pretty weird all right basically it's gonna uh if you click on any body part it's gonna throw up like a menu here uh, i mean a rotation menu uh the way to change if you want to move the hand it's r and if you want to click on like the local thingy which basically let's see let's make it like this if you click on uh y it's gonna change it to local so it just you know does that weird thingy but basically you could do whatever you want, basically, now. What I recommend doing at first is rotating before you move anything. So what you want to do then uh, is, for example, I usually uh, move the hands like this and this. Then I move the legs a little bit more apart. Maybe I'll try, like, uh, having one leg like this. It looks a little bit weird, but it's alright. Maybe this leg a little bit too. Actually, maybe not. Uh, alright, then basically what you want to do is go here. Uh, I think this, I don't know, just click on, like, the bottom area. If it doesn't select it, if it's like this, uh, then just click on it again i don't know um but yeah then what you want to do is you maybe want to rotate that like more towards your body or something it looks like a little bit more realistic when you do that i'll probably uh rotate a little bit closer as well and there you go you have like a re realistic kind of uh figure here so if you want to have like for example bedwars stuff there's also one thing that you can uh get and there's a model for it which i actually forgot i'm actually gonna get it real quick there you go there's this uh there's the item here basically now just click on get you know it's gonna save into your 
your models. Now go back to Roblox Studio, then just uh, refresh the models, and there it goes. Uh, just drag that in, and you can probably like equip a sword for it or stuff like that. But I won't be doing that this uh, uh, this uh, video. So yeah, you guys can do that yourselves. Just ungroup that and just you know select that all the parts. Okay, uh, to wear on your avatar. Okay, basically now what you want to do is you might want to anchor this because otherwise it's gonna fall apart when you join the game. Uh, you also don't have to. There's also another way basically uh if you click on if you right click on this and click on expert selection it's gonna uh pop up like it with the with like the 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 file location thingy then you just type like a random file name you can also save that then you know just uh open it i don't know where i just put it but oh there it is and see there you go uh it loads in with a lighting lighting like this uh now what you can do is basically just modify stuff like you know uh make an environment like weirder you know do do a lot of stuff you can turn a lot of uh you know you can add glow and stuff like that then you basically just click on expert image uh you know just uh have it like 1440p but i'm not gonna be doing that because it looks pretty bad um so yeah uh, i i don't want to actually do this so i'm gonna close out i'm gonna close out file uh, explorer as well and what i'm gonna actually do is i'm gonna um did i already anchor this yes i did okay basically just publish the game i uh, don't click on play here unless you what you have like the quality and stuff like that uh, set to everything like maximum but i recommend still playing the game yourself so what you want to do is close out click on create and go to your uh game basically what you want to do is just join the game now that you're in you're gonna spawn in like this uh of course it's gonna look you know this just looks like this okay and basically what you want to do is you want to zoom in uh close the chat before i mean you don't have to close the chat it's actually gonna close itself now what you want to do is press shift plus p okay and uh it's gonna basically make you have a spectate thingy here now you're just gonna go near your character and just zoom in a little bit or uh hold on and then take a screenshot okay so i'm gonna actually have the entire character on it so i'll try not to miss any spots maybe i'll like go right in front of it there you go you don't have to center it you, you don't have to take a full entire screenshot shot but basically, um, you can either use snipping tool or press the keys Windows, uh, Windows plus Shift plus S, okay? So then basically, you do this, you basically just cache it in the screen. Now what you want to do is open paint.net and, uh, yeah. Now click on new, make the size, uh, 1920 by 1080. Now that's gonna make a window like this. Now basically, um, if you paste the image in, it's gonna ask if canvas size or not and what i'm gonna do is actually keep the canvas size and um this might look a little bit silly at first i might actually look silly as well but <clears throat> basically what you want to do now is you want to get rid of the green screen make sure your character isn't green or you can just if you don't if you don't want your if you want your character to be green then what you can actually do is make the green screen like a blue screen or like any other type of screen now what you want to do is um get like a background image to it like a plain roblox screen image I'll just uh, copy this, and then basically, you have to copy it, you can't just paste it in, otherwise it's gonna make the entire uh, canvas bigger, or whatever you wanna call it. Uh, so what you wanna do now is just paste it, and expand can don't expand canvas size. And uh, now what you wanna do is fit the perfect size, try and make it like more sky, less uh, ground. I don't know, whichever way you want it. Now what you wanna do is you wanna just go to, uh, oh wait, I forgot the plugins, no. I'm pretty sure you could still blur this. Go to unfocus and basically just blur the background to like 20 or less. I don't know. I'll probably keep it at like six or something. Now, uh, I'll probably no with the with the plugin. I'm probably gonna leave like um a clip at the end of me just installing the plugin. And uh, yeah, now I'll probably just go ahead and uh put this on shadow. There we go, object shadow. Then put it on outline object. Uh, make it white, it looks way better. Uh, there we go. And then put another object shadow on it. It looks like a little bit weirder, but you can, you, I guess you could deal with, deal with it. Now, I actually wanna do it more. I wanna keep like like a more bigger like outline to it. So I'm just gonna do it like multiple times. And then you basically put another sh shadow on it again. Uh, so for the text now, uh, for the text, you would just wanna go ahead and go to text over text formations go to outline gradient text and what font i use you could always download fonts from like the font and there are a bunch of websites 
that you can download fonts from. Uh, just choose the one that fits you the most and you know, just choose it. And mine is actually Bubblegum. I don't, I'm not sure if I downloaded this or just got it. Uh, so then you basically just outline this like at 25 for me. Uh, you can do, a, a, you can just optimize your uh, outline yourself, but you know, I keep it at 25 usually. Then make the text uh, not like, not like this. Don't have it all on one row. I recommend not having it like that. Otherwise it's gonna just look bad and it's not gonna fit for the like it's probably gonna go here i don't want it to be i don't want my character to be like in the middle so i'm just gonna have like the text like right over here because there's actually room for it now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna write how i may wait oops make my and then i'm just gonna leave an empty row because i want to make the make the text bigger click control o i mean control a for you guys uh, i don't know how to do it on mac but yeah just gonna do it you're just gonna have to deal with it now what you want to do is <clears throat> uh, either make the text bigger or you can just do it bigger make it bigger from like the actual editing thingy uh that i had on earlier now what you want to do is just position it wherever you want uh what i'd usually do is i basically uh put the uh layer three under the uh character that we have here but i'd rather not do that um also how you make a new layer it's it's right here there's there's this little mark here uh but basically now you just unselect it you want to add another object shadow and you want to add a now like outline object and another object shadow that's all you want to add and now it just kind of looks like it's actually part of the picture or just like you know it doesn't look weird um and now what you want to do is make another layer go to text formations outline text and make like a bigger type of text and make it say thumbnails or well, you don't have one, you don't need to say that but like basically if you want to make text bigger then just do that so it's actually not gonna fit for me so i'm just gonna have to um divide the word i guess and now i just make it uh red i know i know it might look clickbaity but you know it's gonna have to deal with it now you don't have to make the text bigger in any way but i just i just recommend you doing it if it's somewhere in the middle uh, I, I won't give you, like, a tutorial on that, but, yeah, just, you know what to do. Uh, but, yeah, if you have, like, a different type of font you want to use, for example, like, a scary Halloween font, you can just, you know, you can, you can always change the font, and, you know, it'll look kind of weirder, but I'll, 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 I won't keep it as this, I'll probably change it back to um bubblegum because it just genuinely looks better but yeah um now you just want to click on okay and uh just put that here so i'm gonna make it actually lower actually no i'm gonna make it this higher so i'm gonna just uh go to the other layer and that looks i guess it looks kind of all right it looks a little bit silly but you're just gonna have to deal with it it's it's how it is now now you guys might be wondering um how do you how do you like add the uh, roblox logo so that's actually a font I left in the description that leads to the Roblox logo. Just make the make the make another uh, outline text gradient, whatever you want to call it. Just type Roblox um, and just uncapitalize the O and just go down until you find the Roblox um, font. Of course, you don't have to do this. Um, you can just look up a tutorial on how to install fonts or just get fonts or download fonts, whatever you want to call it. So I'm gonna do the same thing I did with the other thing, uh, the other texts. Gonna shadow it, outline object, and another shadow. There we go. And uh, basically, now we're just done. Just place it at the corner of the screen, and there you have it. Uh, I'm probably gonna put glow on this as well, so it looks a little bit better. There we go. And I'm gonna put it on this carrot as well. There we go. And I think that's that's it. Look at look at that. Also, you guys want there's uh, some key things about the thumbnail. You want to have the text as very clear. Don't make like a small little turd at the like at the corner of the screen. Nobody's gonna be able to read that. So just make it understandable. So if you zoom out, then it's gonna be a, you're gonna be able to see it. So on phones, it's technically like this. And uh, yeah, I think that's the finishing touch to this thing, entire thingy. And uh, yeah, what you wanna do now is you wanna just click on the red X. Uh, click on save. Now, what it's gonna do is it's gonna throw up this window like this. Do not save this at paint. Dot, like, do it. Don't save it like that, okay? Otherwise, it's gonna save like this, and you're gonna have to open the project, and you know, just have to save everything again. It's gonna be a really complicated process, so just don't do that. Click on PNG. Basically, just rename it to whatever you want, and then just click on save, and just click on OK, and then flatten. There you go, and there you have it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There were a couple things I've probably missed in this video. Uh, just comment them down below and i'll probably like 
try to contact you from the comments as well. Uh, and I hope you guys in, uh, understood this tutorial. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh yeah, uh, also here's the clip of me downloading the plugin for Paint.net. Alright, so what you want to do is you want to just uh, go to the uh, link in the description. Basically, what you do want to what you want to do here is you want to just click on download. It's going to start downloading. There you go. Alright, there we go. Now it's downloaded. <clears throat> now you just want to open the file. It's probably going to open up here. But what you want to do now is you want to just click on this and it's going to install your uh, thingy here. So I'm pretty sure you're just going to you're just going to have to like leave all these unchecked uh, and basically just click on this. And uh, yeah, just click on install everything and it's going to install everything for you. I'm just going to do it again. Hopefully it's not going to mess up my paint.net. But yeah, all right, there we go. Installation complete. And now you can just close this. Now I'm pretty sure if you open up paint.net and actually you uh, uh, go to effects uh you can see uh that yeah um i got everything doubled so sadly enough i did get doubled uh and it messed up the other things but yeah you should probably just have this uh as normal that's, all, that's literally all you gotta do all right so that's it see ya